welcome back to my channel. I do hope you're doing well. So, I said I'd be coming back with another Poundland haul this month. And guess what? I didn't disappoint. I got two bags filled with goodies. And let's just say maybe my popping down every Tuesday on my lunch break come in handy because I might have some uh, more additions to the little guys up there. Who knows? Make sure you come through my lovelies because I am very, very excited for this month's Panland haul because it's the Easter haul of all hauls. Are you excited? <laughs> right, so we're just going to go with this one because it's nearest to us and it's got something in there which I'm very, very excited to have. Marshmallow bunnies! As I say, yes, I do get carried away when there is a season, when there is a festivity. Um, and this time I picked up marshmallow bunnies. As I say, with Poundland, majority of stuff is a pound. Bits are slowly creeping up now. So if I don't say the price, it is a quid. If I say the price, it's more and I'll let you know, all right? But uh, yes. Ah. Right, I'm going to get this over and done with before you shout at me. As I said with the last one, I don't know if I was able to keep it. I didn't. I had to return it. And this one will have to be returned to. But look at how cute this is. So these are £1.50. And they're like a little teddy bear felt Easter bucket. So last month I showed you they had it in a chick. Which was just kind of like, um, I don't know the material. Just like, ugh. A normal Easter bucket material, like felt. That's it, it was like felt. This one is like a teddy bear ball. And as I say, they are £1.50. But I just, I had to pick it up just even to show you. As I say, I did ask mum if I could keep it. And she was like, Shannon Lee, we have three large plastic ones and two carrot ones. We don't need any more. But it's just so, so cute, ain't it? And then like, that was by the marshmallow bunny. So I thought, well, it's hand in hand. If I can't keep the bucket, I'm going to keep the sweets, eh? Picked up a little hand sanitizer with aloe vera and cucumber. As I say, pretty much standard. Last month I picked up the big one that goes in the hallway, but I thought this would be quite a nice one just to put in for my little handbag because, as I say, hand sanitizer is a must. Even before the big C word, me and Mama G would always have a hand sanitizer. And then you will remember last month, me and Mama G, we picked up two little poof poofs. I had to get another one now this time for Dada. He went to poof poof. So that is his. Nothing more to say on that. As I say, they're just handy, aren't they? Especially like if you're exfoliating. Oh my God. Sometimes I find an exfoliating mitt, depending how my skin is or what time of the month it is, depends how sensitive my skin is. And sometimes mm -mm, my skin just not like an exfoliating mitt. It will just go red raw and then I get like, bumps and it's not nice so sometimes a poof poof is just like a nice gentle way of doing it let's just say and then very standard we have kitchen roll one pound by the brand magnum super absorbency as i say we're still trying to find some sort of alternative to kitchen roll but we do the best that we can and say we only use it sparingly more for just like soaking up fat off things like if we do bacon or sausages. So we do try to help out all the other ways but can't really find anything for that one. <gasps> There's just so many Easter bits. Right, let's not just drag this moment out anymore. I got them! And it was green and yellow. I didn't know whether it was green and yellow or green and orange, but it was green and yellow. And my lovelies just look. So the green guy has a little carrot, and then the yellow guy is just a plain gog. These are £1.50, right? So I've got the other two up there. And if you saw last month's haul, you will know I've got the blue and the pink one. And now I've got the matching set. So £6 for a set of gonks. I don't think you can go wrong. These are going to be a staple in my Easter spring decor every year now. And would you believe they're from Poundland? I absolutely can't. Just go and take a look at the cuteness once again, my lovelies. Oh my God. They're just adorable. And I haven't really seen anything like this apart from on Etsy. But on Etsy, of course, they're not going to be £1.50, are they? So I can now 
put them with my other two over there. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I cannot wait. You can go there for now. And I don't quite know. I might start like moving them about because for the moment, like you can't even see it. But I've just got my cheap faux fur, faux fur, faux plant planter that I got from Matalan last year. But now I'm starting to get the gonks. I'm thinking I might like a, maybe I should sit a bit more nearer to the dressing table and then you can see the gonks or do I keep them in the background like I've got my Easter tree up I'm very very excited my love is very very excited indeed and I tell you why I'm excited as well because Easter as I said last month or month sir are the months for chocolate these were one pound once again and they're just chocolate chicks I mean these are going to be very very handy and also Mama G has been looking around and she said M&S do like little ones of these with caramel in. So when we do our 24 hours eating Easter food, which I'm not too sure whether that will be up already. If not, it will be up very soon. Um, yeah, we'll have a little taste test and see Poundland chocolate to M&S chocolate, but I'm not going to lie. Cheap chocolate is just the best, ain't it? It's like advent calendar chocolate. Unless you have a really fancy advent calendar. You're probably not going to know what I'm talking about. But if you get like the £1, £2 advent calendars, that cheap chocolate is some of the nicest that you can get. So I'm hoping it's going to be like that, to be honest, my lovelies. Here's hoping. Some little hair packs. A pack of, how many have you get in here? 50. 50 for a quid, not too bad. As I say, I don't tend to use these ones often, she says, as she has one in her hair now. I like the um, elasticated ones, but these I find are better if I want to do, say, like a plait to sleep in overnight. These, the plastic-like curly ones, they don't go as tight as these ones. So, yeah, pick some of those up just for, like, if I want to do some little plaits to keep my hair wavy because sometimes your girl just cannot be bothered, to be perfectly honest, to uh, keep doing the mermaid wave. I need to try out the other barrel still, don't I? I've just bought the mermaid waver one. Well, I did. Dada got it for Christmas. So it was the mermaid waver and then like a twirly one. But I think the mermaid waver, it just does it for me. I don't have to do anything with it. And the curling barrel, I'm a little bit, just a little bit sceptical as to how I'm going to do it. So we'll have to see, eh? Then we have this. This was one pound. I mean, come on, this is something like you would see in Tesco for three or four quid. How cute is that? It's on a little wooden plinth, and once again, it's like a felt bunny with his little pom-pom tail. Kind of reminds me of a bookmark. Bookmark? Bookend. Imagine having two of those either side of, like, your books. Oh! That is another thing. When I move out, I want like a little reading corner and I want to get some really nice bookends. If you know where to get bookends or anything like that, please do let me know down below. But how cute is that? I don't quite know where you're going to go. You might have to go in the hallway because I can't put too much out in the room because otherwise there's just going to be stuff galore. I mean, when is there not stuff galore? Let's be perfectly honest. I'm in the process of trying to like run down my skincare and like use the odd little bits up, but nothing seems to be going nothing at all because my plan is here's my logic um maybe say at the end of the year for example i've got my beauty bay recycling bin haven't i that i got for christmas and my logic for this was to put all of the recyclable empties in there so say like skincare hair care everything like that and then maybe at the end of the year we can go through our empties because i've seen that they used to be like a trend back in the day but i still love watching these types of videos to see like what people have been loving throughout the year and maybe do like an empties of skincare hair care makeup anything like that so yeah but it just doesn't seem to be going i have been doing so much skincare lately and nothing is going i think it's because i just keep like swapping them out for bits i'm not actually fully using them up which is kind of what you need to do to run them down didn't you show but anyway digression as always picked up an easy bleach this was the seriously thick bleach seriously thick in citrus absolutely love that this you normally see me pick up in like home bargains b m all of that jazz and then you will remember last month i managed to pick one of these up in green I got the pink one and I may or may not have got the other colour in the other bag to the matching set. As I say, when I started getting my bits out, I realised that I had the three from Next, which were £12. So you can get three for £3. You could get four lots of these 
for the price of the next ones that I got last year. But I just thought they were so cute. They're so nice. Even if you don't want to put like a tea light in them, say if you have kids or anything, and you just want to put them as like a decoration, you can even put like chocolate coins in there. Oh my God. You could so put the chocolate coins in there because they're not going to fit through that gap. So they won't fall out. How cool is that? See, always thinking outside the box, ain't you, Shannon Lee? Yes, you are, my lovely. And then we've got a pack of 30 refuse sacks tie handle ones. 50 litre, very simple, very standard, but tie handles a lot more better. I cannot be faffing around tying bin bags. I mean, it's very rare that I do the rubbish, but I sometimes do the recycling and those things to like try and. It's like a Rubik's Cube, isn't it? You've got that to that and that. It's probably very simple to most people, but to me, I just think the tie handle is so much better. I, of course, had to get some paper napkins. 20 paper napkins. But look, they're in the car for cheek. Cannot wait to have these on my little Easter plate when we have our Easter food. And actual Easter day. Oh, my God. We're just going to be filled with food, aren't we? I've already started planning what I want to cook for Easter Sunday. Of course, there's going to be lamb. What type of lamb? I'm not entirely sure yet, but uh, is it going to be a shoulder? Is it going to be a leg? Is it going to be some steaks? Not entirely sure. I think I know what dessert I'm going to cook. Like, we go all out here in Easter, all right, my lovelies? Um, if you haven't seen last year's Easter vlog, I'll leave it down there up above. You know the drill. Go and check it out. We have good food on Easter, let me tell you that. And then we also have 24 hours of eating it. So, it's just Easter food galore, isn't it? And then, <laughs> so you know last month I got pigs chicks and gnome eggs i think it was i got a six pack of little felt carrots these are just so cute for decoration i mean how can you not like them i mean come on i know they are very kiddified but hey what can i say i'm just a kid at heart and as i say i am very very disappointed once again with pan and they didn't have any easter themed bags they smash it out of the park at christmas but it seems easter and halloween they don't really get on the hype Panland, come on. I mean, your Panland bags are lovely, but sometimes I want a little pizzazz in my thumbnail, all right? I want to sometimes have a little bit that screams the feason. Feason? I was about to say festivities and season, and it come out as feason. Okay, that's a new one for me. Let's get into bag two, shall we? Right. <laughs> Numero dos. So, as I say, we had the green one, we had the pink one, and I also got the blue one. As I say, just a gorgeous little matching set. And I mean, if they get smashed or something happens, it's not like it's the end of the world. The next ones I would be very annoyed with. As I say, when they was um, coming out of the boxes, I was like, <gasps> checking they hadn't been chipped or scratched or anything. But yeah, these won't break the bank and absolutely love them. And as I say, I oh, you know what? It's got a tiny hole at the top. You could get some really, 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 really thin pampas grass or like little flowers and put in that and have it as like a little vase if maybe. If you didn't want to have it as a tea light holder or a sweet holder. <laughs> Your girl's always thinking for you, ain't she? Let's have a look. Ah, just got a basic little hair clip. Nothing fancy about that. Canon, you're focusing on the Easter tree, darling. There we go. Just a little grey clip. I'm not going to put it in my hair now because it's going to... Uh, claw it all out but now that my hair is like done and i say it's fully settled now we're like a month into having the hair not gonna lie i'm still finding it hard to adjust myself even now when i edit videos and like say i look in the viewfinder i just think who is this girl it's probably sounds so weird to people but i don't know i'm just so used to now i so say you gotta think i had two years of bright colored hair we went from red to purple to pink to copper. And then I've kind of gone like neutral in a way. This is very neutral for me. And as I say, I resonate this hairstyle with 22, 23 year old Shan. And I just think, girl, you ain't the same person anymore. But then I look in the mirror and I'm like, yes, you are. So yes, it's going to it's gonna take me a while. I'll probably just start to get used to it and then I'll switch it up for autumn because we all know that when autumn comes, that's when the hair colours come, don't they? So yes, having a little bit of an adjustment, but I am liking just being able to shove it up in a clip, not worry about me roots or anything like that because it's all kind of blended into one, ain't it? I'll tell you what, she must have been going through them uh, sponges because she asked me for another pack this month. 
got her some last month for £20 for a quid. As I say, she has the um, green base scarers, which I'm not really a fan of. But yeah, she must be doing a lot of cleaning or she's doing something because she was like, I need more sponges. So I was like, you girls go in Poundland, that's what she's going to get. <gasps> da -da -da -da. Toothpaste. Very, very simple, very, very basic. Can't go wrong, but Colgate anti cavity. As I say, Colgate, you can pay sometimes what up to two quid in the supermarkets, even Superdrug. I do like Superdrug for their offers though. That is, I think I said it in last month as well. Like, I, if I can avoid going to a supermarket, I will do. Like, I would much rather go to the bargain shops and Superdrug and boots and like the farm shops and the butchers. It is very, very rare that I get meat from Tesco anymore. However, I am on the hunt because Tesco last Easter done a gorgeous garlic stuffed lamb shoulder. So I am on the eye out for that. If not, I can always go to my butchers. But yeah, I much rather just get this from the bargain shops now. You know my lovelies. Oh, I saw this. I don't think I'm going to keep this. Mama G said she wanted to keep it to be a bit creative. And I was like, well, if you want to keep it, I mean, go away to your heart's content. This was a pound. And I just think this is so good for kids. But... She says that as Mama G, a 62-year-old, wants to do it. And it's a paint-your-own-egg cup. So it's just a little ceramic egg cup in there. You get your three colours and a little paintbrush. And I just thought it was so cute. It says it's got green, yellow and pink in there. I might keep that for her. I might, she, that could be maybe a little um, Easter activity, let's just say. I've got really itchy nose. I don't know why. That means surprises, doesn't it? Oh, right. Pick this up. Pep and Co is slowly starting to become bigger within our Poundlands. I get so jealous when I see people's Poundland hauls and they've got like a full on clothing Pep and Co section. Our one isn't as big as that. But I did see this for £3 and it's just a simple little bobble chenille bath mat. And I thought for three quid, it's always handy to have as a backup because, as I say, we've got like our grey set, but sometimes, like, if the grey set's a bit wet and say mum wants to go in the bath, we can change this over and it's anti slip. Didn't think that was too bad at all for the price, you know, my lovelies. And as I say, why? It's just simple. It'll go with any like little bits and bobs that we've got going on in the bathroom, eh? Broken record time. You know what I'm about to say. Bargain shop drinks. I do sound like a broken record. I should have it on a blooming t-shirt. If you don't get your drinks from a bargain shop, what are you doing? You are missing out. Three for a pound, two for a pound on the larger ones, six for two in the multi-packs. Honestly, go and get your drinks, my lovelies. This time I've got two Dr. Peppers and a Fanta. Fancy the Fanta Limon, I thought, coming into like spring, summer. That is great, paired with a gin. I think I might try it with my Lakes Distillery gin, what I got from the log cabin. I'm yet to crack that open, but your girl is holding out for a special occasion, so maybe I might crack it open for Easter. Who knows, eh? Who knows indeed? Right, don't shout at me. <laughs> so we all know I got carried away last month with the little um, felt little people. Well, I got carried away this time as well. I couldn't help it. So I got a little pack of white chicks. I mean, look. They're just so adorable. And these, I'm sorry, I just absolutely loved them. They are unicorn Easter eggs. But I think they're supposed to be pigs. Unicorn Easter pigs. You just, you just can't go wrong, can you? I mean, just look. Does that not just scream Shannon? What one am I? I'm like the one with the yellow bit, ain't I? Because I love a bit of sunshine yellow. You just you just can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. I'm actually speechless with them. They are so adorable, so gimmicky, and probably so cheesy. But I don't care. I absolutely love them. Love them, love them, love them. And the last thing, my lovelies, which I do love indeed. Little bit saddened, though. Last month, you would have seen that I was able to pick it up in the wild berries. We've gone through that, and we couldn't get it. So I've reserted back to reserted resorted and averted i think that was supposed to be so i resorted back my lovelies to the fresh water freshen up as i say got the wild berries last month but this is the one that seems to be the most common as i say in all of the shops i think because probably it's the most neutral scent but you literally put it up very very fresh very very fresh scent and as i say that is to replace the one that is currently running out in the toilet so yes 
make sure your lid is screwed on tight because you do not want this to be leaking everywhere let me tell you from past experiences when you think it's done up and then you tip it and all the liquid comes out on you it's not done up Shannon Lee no it is not but my lovelies my desk is filled with cute chocolates essentials and just a bit of everything so that means as sad as it is to say and i'm staring at my little gonks the haul is done <laughs> so would you believe it pretty much this will be the last haul with not spring bits but like easter bits unless i see anything in the sale and then obviously you know they're going to be in for may but yeah who can believe i mean sorry we have 12 months but don't it just seem like everything goes by in a flash like Easter, I know it's predominantly just April, but for me it starts in March. So we have like Easter and then it's kind of like nothing now, is it? It's just summer. We have like Father's Day, I've got my birthday and yeah, it's just kind of nothing now until autumn. Not that I'm complaining or anything. I mean, it's probably going to be like August, July, August time and then you'll start to see the uh, autumn bits coming in. But your girl does hold out the autumn content doesn't start until september but that doesn't mean i'm not out in august buying it all let me tell you that okay but yes i am i'm just i'm ecstatic i'm so ecstatic i've got my little family of gonks now i'm so so happy i'm so happy you would not believe my lovelies all right but as i say let me put the little babies down because I'm going to get so carried away. If you did enjoy the video, guys, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below. As I say, let me know in the comments whether you've got any of the gonks. Anything caught your eye? Are you a sucker like me and just get anything that's like felt and small and cute and thinking it can go everywhere? Have you seen any of these or have you purchased any of these? These are great for like, as I said, last month. I'm going to sound like a broken record once again. Last month I said, um, why do we not do anything for like trick or treat but for easter i know there's like an easter egg hunt but like imagine kids like they'll be dressed up as like little lambs or chicks it would be so cute and if you've got little cute matching bags like that that's what you need so yes i'm gonna stop rabbiting because i feel like i've rabbited quite a lot in this video and digressed but hey ho that is me i mean am i ever gonna change no what you see is what you get take it or leave it little lump of sugar don't mind if i do but yes take care my lovelies stay safe and i'll see you very soon for a brand new video of which i have no idea what it's gonna be but yeah we're gonna see it and it will be a surprise for both of us bye guys mm -hmm.